Hello and welcome back to HIP. So, I was thinking about what we want to do, and we can wait till the defensive packs go down, but I was considering not doing that. Wait, okay, so it's going to take 87 months for it to decay to zero. We only need it to decay another 5%, but it's actually not that long. It's gonna, that's only going to take a couple of years. I think we'll do that. Then we're going all out at war, and I was thinking about how I want to handle this, because... We have a look. Defensive packs, obviously, up until 50%, can only be a one religious group. So, I thought, okay, let's have a look at what the religious groups are. And, well, you're either Christian, or you're not. Those are the two religious groups. There are no other religious groups who are against us. I mean, obviously, down here, actually, no, down here is Sunni anyway. So, yeah, you're Christian, or you're not. These are, these are the two religious groups. So, what we want to do, ideally, if we're going to fight a defensive pact, well, not the fight, but in the future if we're going to fight one, what do we want? Well, we want one religious group to be weak. Makes sense, right? So, if that religious group is weak, as long as we don't go over 50%, we're all good. Um, we also probably want to try and avoid being where we currently are. Right now, we're the center of the map. Which is god-awful if we go for 50% in terms of our threat, because, well, basically, we'll be attacked on all sides, right? So if we look at this right now, if we were to, say, declare war, let's say we're over 50% threat, we declare war on Hungary. We then get attacked from this side, and we get attacked from this side, and we can't really focus on our war. So what I want to try and do is get it so that we only have land kind of coming from one spot. If that makes sense. So we're only really pushing towards one direction on the map. Now it's very difficult with where we currently are. We're kind of in the center. Looking at places where we could possibly do that. If we were to take France. Which is quite a lot of land, admittedly. That would take away a lot of our western threat. Really. I mean, apart from the Atabids. Which are... Are they even a threat? Um, They're reasonable. They can siege. They could definitely do a lot of sieging. Like if we took France and England, though, we'd be in a relatively good spot. Uh, do we have any CBs against France? That's kind of a useful thing to have a look at. We are not. No. Or we do not have any CBs against France. Apart from excommunicated ruler, which is interesting. But that, that still brings in the defensive pact. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, we don't want to do that anyway. But yeah, we don't have any wars against France. And if we have a look at England, I don't imagine we have any wars against them either. Uh, with the uh, interesting Aztec uh, culture. No. We have, well, we have a few wars, but they're not really proper wars. Okay. So that's really not something that we can do. Uh, one thing that somebody was asking, actually, is can we do invasions? Uh, now, I don't think you do those against Christians, but I'm just going to check. So this one is... Yeah, so it should be where claim is, usually. So if I head on over here, because we have the Pope, can we... I forget what it was. We did an invasion of Croatia previously. I forget what the conditions are, but I don't think we can do invasions anymore. Because that was against the kingdom, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I forget what the. I don't know what the conditions for that are, but I assume that we just can't get them anymore because we're empire level. That would be my initial assumption. I have no idea. I could look it up, and I probably will at some point. Anyway, um, continuing on the same line of thought. Okay. So we can't get the west. The west is impossible for us to get. The east? Well, there's a lot of it. That's really the main problem with going for the east. There is just so much of it. There's all of this land we would have to get in order to get it safe. Which is not great. That's going to cause us some issues. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It's just kind of general goals, right? That's just how I'm thinking about the map. Also, in the East, we have the only people who could ever fight us, which is Merv, of 64,000. And, very importantly, they are... Oh, wait a second. They're not in the defensive pack. That's interesting. I wonder why not. Hmm. Well, I take it back. Merv aren't actually that much of a threat. Okay. We could maybe start attacking the Al uh, Fatimids now. Might be good to just wait a little bit. Do one um, or like, do a couple wars while we're low in threat, but just remembering that Merv didn't join this defensive pack. It's interesting. It might be they didn't join it because they're not particularly threatened by us currently. I mean, even though we have double their strength. Yeah, 
I think that's probably something it takes into account. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to unpause and let time move on after that little thought. I, didn't, I don't really know where I was going with that. I just had some general thoughts about where we want to attack. Uh, no, these people should not get betrothed. That seems like a bad idea to me. Uh, do I want to attend this one? Well, I suppose I better. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we got some more peasant revolts. Where do we want to go? Where are the revolts? Oh, it's all the way up there. Uh, we'll see whether they get rid of by themselves. We'll see. Nope, they're not getting rid of it by themselves. Right. Uh, get those men. Oh, I thought we got more from Bavaria. Okay, we'll get Wendland as well. Yeah, merge up and then attack him. Oh, yeah. Wait there. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't go to your thing. That's fine. Your coronation. Uh, famous Harold has arrived at our court. Um, I don't really want to pay any money for him. That's fine. We went to a coronation. Yes, yes, it's all fine. It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. All sorts of things. You're sleeping quite soundly in your bed when you're suddenly rudely awoken by a bag being thrust over your head. You struggle, but it's no use. Your captors are strong. It's not long before you find yourself in a dungeon. There, Booth Heya. Uh, Booth Heina uh, reveals herself as your captor and states that you only have to hand over the Terma of Sis to achieve your freedom. What's the Terma of Sis? Why would I give it to her? I don't currently have... Oh, wait, I do have it. Oh, interesting. Uh, no? While she appears torn, it turns out that she cannot, in fact, order your death. She turns, walks out, swearing, sometime later you are discovered by a passing peasant and released. You are unharmed. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Glad I, I'm unharmed. Right. Kill this army. Ooh, went in with no commanders and they had a defensive bonus, but we, we won. Yeah, I was pretty certain we were going to win, but, you know, there was a second there. No, nobody can marry my daughter. Right, let's get matrilineal marriage going here. Um, let's see. Go around the right age. Oh, did I see a genius? Uh, I did see a genius. Perfect. They can marry. Right, um, 100% in this war. Offer peace. Enforce demands. I just realized that it was declared on the duchy. I, I was just like, wait a second. I can work that out. Because, um, yeah, he, he was duchy level. Hmm. Never really thought of it that way. That's fine. When's our next uh, law change? Let's have a look here. Laws. We can change this one uh, in a year. Oh, perfect. That sounds good. More titles have been usurped. Uh, what's our threat level like? 19%. Okay. Not too long. Not too long. We have a nephew. Alright, let's give him a... I don't know. Humility education. Seems okay to me. Ooh, nice. More money. What's this one? Uh, new court physician. I guess that means the Pope's dead. Um, I, well, we can maybe get better than 19. I'll uh, go looking for one. Yeah, that's fine. And we have a position for a court chaplain. Yeah, sure, it can be a loyalist. That sounds good. Right. Uh, we built everything we can in Constantinople. I'm sure I check this every time, but yeah, we have. Oh, we can upgrade construction though. Perfect. Does that give us something else we can build in Constantinople? I know it gives us something that we can build in... Well, not that one. It gives us something we can build in the hospital though, right? Yeah, we get extended wards. Even more hospital level. That's great. So we don't get any disease over there. Uh, court physician uh, tells us of this person who has 17 skill. I do not require services as we have a 19. There we go. Right. All seeming good. Uh, people are creating titles. All sorts of things. There's some rebels. Where are the rebels? Uh, oh my god. That's just terrible. Right. Um, can I raise my own boats? I just raised the man, didn't I? Yep. Um, there we go. Ban them. Wait, we have vassal levies raised? Yeah, get rid of those as well. Oh, they were probably on the same tile. That's fine. I just want to get... Oh, we don't have enough. I assumed our boats would be enough, which is why I was getting them, but that's fine. We will instead grab Sardinia's boats. Yeah, that'll work. They can come over here, pick up our retinue, and we'll send them over to get rid of the revolts. Are we looking in terms of threat? 
Yeah, it's dropping. It's still 19%, but it's about half a percent less than it was. All right. Get on the boats. Head over here. Absolutely destroy them. That's the plan, anyway. Right. Let's wait for them to get over here. They're assaulting down my provinces. I really don't appreciate that, but that is because they're taking so much attrition. Uh, as are we, now that we've arrived. Uh, that's fine. We probably want a different person on that flank, but apart from that, we're all good. Right, attack in and then go through. Seems good to me. Go straight for their army. Hey, don't assault down my provinces. It's just not done, okay? Uh, we'll just move our boats over here. Nice, nice. The Tonic Order's got more land. They must have a lot of land by now. Um, yeah, if I check the wrong tab. If I check the Teutonic Order. Um, they do offer a fair number of troops. But so eh, well, they don't have as much land as I thought they did. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just follow the army. Where are you going? You're going to Tabasa. Then you're heading all the way in here. Wow. Okay. Uh, arranged marriage. Wait. Uh, you're proposing that these two people can marry. Oh, they are betrothed. Yeah, I suppose. Seems fine. It is matrilineal. That's fine. Okay. I was just double checking. We have a kinswoman. That's alright. Oh, she's agile. Uh, let's give her a struggle. Sure. Continue chasing in. Oh my god, how far are they going? Uh, wait. Yeah, they are heading down here. There's another army here that's splitting off somewhere else. Ooh, some titles being usurped. Did our threat level go up? Nope, that's fine. Uh, we're 18% now. The reason I'm letting it drop all the way to 15 is I think that will disband uh, defensive packs. I think there's like, um... If it's done similar to how other things are done, there's probably a level for joining a defensive pact and a level for leaving. And um, I suspect joining is much higher than leaving in terms of like, uh, I want to do this or I don't want to do this kind of thing. So if we get all of the defensive packs to disappear, when we get a little bit more threat, not everyone's going to join a defensive pact straight away. That's my theory anyway. We'll see how that uh, actually goes in practice. We catch this army? All right, there we go. 100% right. Offer peace and force demands. Okay, head out to the coast again. Uh, we can usurp this duchy. I don't really want to, although that is a single province, and I'm kind of wondering how they're... Oh, it's part of Kiev. That's fine. Not worried about it. A whole bunch of things we could create. No real reason to. Some days being the Basilius is no easy thing. Uh, yeah, I'd like Gregarious, please. Ooh, nice. I got it. That seems good. Yeah. Turns out the stranger is a monk on his way back to the cloister after several months on the road. As the evening light grows dimmer, you converse about life and death, faith and doubt. When you excuse yourself to return home, the monk asks if he can offer if you can offer room and board for a few days. Sure. That seems fine. See what uh, comes of that. Ooh. For whom the bell tolls. More often than not, you retreat to your chambers in the evening, feeling exhausted and weary. Tonight is no exception. Falling asleep is usually easy after a long and taxing day. However, recently sleep seems to elude you. You are sitting in your study, idly moving chess pieces on the board before you, sipping a glass of wine, hoping that it shall give you the rest you seek. Suddenly, somebody knocks. Who could it be at this time? Before you can shout at the intruder to leave you alone, the door opens and... Anastero. How would you even say that? Anastasios? Anyway, strides in. Good evening, my lord. I realized I never introduced myself properly. I am death, and I'm here to collect you. A dagger is gleaming, glinting in his hand. Uh, I challenge you to a game of chess. Uh, death raises an eyebrow, an amused look on his face. Why not? I have all the time in the world. Though you are simply postponing the inevitable. Adjapetos. For you are sure to lose. He settles in the chair opposite your your own and places the dagger on the table. Black or white? Um, I don't know. Does I think white has a higher win rate? White. Yes. You will need all the help you can get. 
uh, Death says with a grin. What is your strategy for the first part of the game? Uh, well, we're, we're shrewd, so I'll carefully analyze the board and take my time. 100% chance of you making a good move. Now you see, I'm fairly certain we're going to make a good move of this one. While Death is certainly an accomplished player, you managed to capture a few more pieces than him during the first part of the game. You do not like the look on his face, however. Thank God for my good fortune. Please let it continue. Uh, the abbot of a nearby monastery has now asked us to make a donation. He just came in while I was having my game of chess. Uh, you know what? I think now is probably the time to make my uh, peace with God. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. The game continues in silence as both of you are fully focused on your next move. At the next moment, the game seems even. At least you think it does. What is your next move? Um, I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to focus on the game. Okay, uh, my son-in-law, with an amazing last name that I'm not even going to try. Uh, yeah, we're giving up nothing for him. But that is amazing stats. Yeah, he's looking good. Never ever met such a tenacious, unnerving opponent, and never be has so much been at stake. The game is nearing its end, and is looking grim indeed. Death is playing with your captured queen, smiling confidently. I could be persuaded to return this to you for the right price. I'm not giving up my daughter. No, I, I have trust in my skill. Dealings with death. During the last few moves, it feels as if time is standing still. Your thoughts are muddled, moving slowly, as if through a, si a, a thick syrup. Random, disjointed thoughts flash through your mind. Places you once visited, old friends you have not seen in years, dreams you gave up on, so many loose ends, and now it might be too late to pick them up again. Checkmate. Your head snaps back up, your eyes locking with deaths. For the first time this evening, you can really see it, and it chills you to your core. The figure before you is not an ordinary man, not a man at all. This is death. And he just won. It is time then, Ajapetos, he sighs contently. The endless rest awaits. Please, no, no, I beg of you, mercy. Just, just one more year. Okay then. Basilius Agapetos has given up the ghost at age 33. He died under suspicious circumstances. Known to be kind, few had a bad word to say about him. A godly man. Agapetos is with the Blessed Virgin now. Basilius Philetos. A godly man. Philetos is sure to impress the priest with his extensive knowledge of the Bible. Long live Basilius Philetos. Okay, how old is he? 32. Okay, it's not bad. He's Greek. Um... Yes, I hope the circumstances of my untimely death make someone suspicious I did not die a natural death. Someone suspects I did not die naturally. My cousin. Fantastic. And that's the last we'll hear of them. Uh, why are you trying to kill someone? No, 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 no. Cancel that plot. Get that out of here. Okay, so we're a new character. So I think it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.